talk. Just kidding. Okay. Okay. So I think I finally figured out the lighting, the lighting issue. Um, thank you for sticking around, I guess, in the time you weren't here, but the camera was, and, but you weren't. Um, I love these colors. Okay, just kidding. Um, I just really like the colors um, going on right now. They're changing colors. I got smart light bulbs recently by accident. Not by accident, I was a target. Okay, let me, welcome to my channel. Um, this video is a little bit different from other videos that I've done recently. I did like a blog, like living solo blog. Um, and then I did some about my experiences getting my nipples pierced. I'm so sick of talking about them. So I'm just not gonna talk about them anymore. Anyways, um, thank you for joining me today. Um, like I said, this video is going to be about the patriarchy and capitalism. Where should I start? So I didn't, yeah, I didn't write a rough draft about this. Um, I didn't write a rough, rough draft essay about this. Like I should, I'm just gonna go for it and begin. Um, especially since right now, the whole Wade v. Roe is trying to be banned or they are trying to ban abortion. So I thought maybe it's about damn time I speak about this. Um, I can't put off having this conversation anymore. Um, what is the patriarchy? Oh, it is a political system set up whereas men have the power. Yeah, so the patriarchy is a denial of woman's capacity for self. So the patriarchy is denying a woman to be her own person. Example, taking the husband's last name instead of keeping her own, and it's also a denial of for connection for men. Where does the patriarchy come from? Um, so, so there's this thing on TikToks, like where do men get that audacity? Like, what I try to do, I try to figure out how the patriarchy came about. And according to Duval Noah Harari's book, he believes it came from the ag agriculture so once we start to grow wheat um like food we didn't have to be hunter and gatherers anymore so before then he states that the kids like raising kids wasn't just a woman's responsibility he was it took a tribe you know how to say sometimes it takes a village um literally it took a village for them to raise the kids so it wasn't believed that there's a mom I think they're called nuclear nuclear families. Let me Google it. So yeah, it's called a nuclear family. So nuclear families didn't come about until the agriculture system came about. Um, this is because men start working out on the fields, um, growing crops and such, and the woman was to stay home and take care of the kids. So instead of the tribe taking care of the kids as a community, it was now that this man owns this land. Land was property and then the house was a property and then the woman and his kids were property. Or women were viewed as caretakers now instead of also gatherers or hunters. So now that's a nuclear family and I think that's where the patriarchy came from. I also want to title this um, video, uh, We Need a New American Dream. The American Dream is capitalism. Capitalism is the American dream. You know, we are taught from a young age that we need to get good grades to go to this college and then after this college we can have a good job and then after that we have to get married and then we have kids and then so on and so on. It is a social construct that we are, they sell it to us. Throughout growing up, society, people, teachers, your parents, like even your mom is, is telling you to follow this construct, um, this patriarchal society construct where as a woman, you have to, like the most valuable thing for you to do is have children. You know, it's, it's we are encouraged from a young age to want to have a family. Like Mormons, for example, they teach their girls to dream of a wedding. They have them do like a poster board of some kind of what you want your wedding to look like or be like. They aspire you 
to want that kind of life, that decision without you realizing you don't want that decision. You don't, without you first thinking like, maybe that's not what I want in life. They already are telling you that's what you want in life. Um, so from a young age, our dream lives are marketed to us in dream of the house with a white picket fence, mortgage, the kids, the, the, the pets, the but family vacations, you know, like the food, everything. It is a lifestyle that we all have been conditioned to, um, that we all have been born into. Um, so yeah, I believe the patriarchy is and capitalism are very much hand in hand. Capitalism is set up. It is, it is the 1% who is making the most money because they are the ones who are running these companies that we need to live off of. They're not being able to vote as of recently um, shows a lot about we we've come a long way but with this whole wade v roy thing going on um it's shown that we have not come far enough uh we haven't beat anyone up that we were supposed to beat up just kidding so the patriarchy doesn't only affect women in a negative way i believe it also affects men in a negative way. And I feel like that, that could be a whole nother video about it. Like women are viewed as property. Men are also viewed as, they have to be the strong leader of the household. They have to be manly and strong and blah, 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 blah. So I think there is a lot of pressure put on men to be manly. Attributes that are feminine or you know, girly, like painting your nails or being a caretaker, anything feminine is looked down as weakness, um, which is really sad because it puts men in this position to not be vulnerable, to not show their emotion. You know, I think a lot of men feel privileged. Um, there's this podcast guy, I forget what he's called. I don't even care what he's fucking called. I don't... I don't want to say anything about him really or give him any more attention or energy because he just sucks so much um, and I can't believe I can't believe that there's actual guys and people still out there that are holding these beliefs it's 2022 okay first of all it's 2022 um, why are we still living like we're in the 50s um, sometimes old men used to come up to me like not me but like at work people are like blah 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 and complain and in my head i'm like you're just gonna die off like we are doing a pretty good job at being more accepting of you know like men being feminine and such but i still think there's because those grandpas those old cranky men had grandchildren had grandsons that they passed on these beliefs through um so I'm, i wouldn't say we're exactly where we need to be because obviously Wade and Roy are Wade v Roy is still you know like this whole thing still happening like against the board I think they're wrong I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh you know everyone has the right to their opinion no if your opinion doesn't give women their own right to their bodies then then your opinion is wrong if you agree with banning abortion then you can get you can just not watch the video you can stop watching now or you can watch and take notes i've noticed the patriarchy i wouldn't say the patriarchy i've noticed misogyny and sexism at a very young age um, i didn't realize it i didn't realize it till recently that you know that's what i noticed I remember being really young and jumping on the bed and telling my mom that all i want to wear from now on is pants because I used to wear dresses quite a bit as a child. And like all I want to wear now is pants because I want to be a boy. Um, I want to be a boy because they are able to do, they are able to do so much more. Just solely on the reason that being a boy, I could have more power. But eventually I realized boys suck and women are awesome. And it's not that there's anything wrong with women. And um, there is something wrong with the social construct that not only America has, but all their cultures and all their societies around the globe have. Not long after I realized I wanted to be a girl and keep wearing my dresses because dresses are so cute. Oh, I brought that on through middle school, through 
elementary school where I would fight my classmates in middle school, physically fight them, or I would try to physically fight them to prove to them that even though I am a girl, I will kick your I want to beat this boy just to prove that I can, just to prove that women are just as powerful. Even as awake as I was, even as I, I wasn't really awake because I, I didn't know that there was actually a social construct that we still lived in where men still ran the household or ran shit, you know, that some Beyonce girls run the world or who runs the world. Um, is it, I mean, I don't listen to it. I'm sure it's a good jam. <laughs> I'm sure it's a good song. We don't run the world yet. You know, it's kind of, some women like to like say, oh, you know, like we do because blah, blah, blah. But reality, reality, let's be serious here. Um, if you don't see it with them trying to overthrow abortion, men still don't think we, we deserve rights. Um, they still want a say over our bodies and what we do with our lives. Um, I think I think that's why I think that's why they they try to sell the American dream so much so that women will stay home and want to have children when they really don't want to have children. Now that women are more independent and we don't need to stay home with the kids. We can go out and make our own fucking money. Okay, I can go out and make my own money and buy my own drinks. That's cool as that sounds. Um, I can do that now. So I have a choice whether or not I want to be married with kids. And now the birth rate has dropped and it's lower than it has been in centuries. So there is less kids, less people to join the workforce, okay? And that's where capitalism comes from. Um, there's this old men who are on top of the capitalism society who profit off of women having kids. You know, I don't know if it was Alice in Wonderland or the Secret Garden where there's like a hidden door somewhere, there's a hidden pathway, there's a hidden, if you drink this, there's like a hidden world, different alternative. So I thought there was always more to life than just being a stay-at-home mom um, or having kids. But as far as me wanted to have a wedding, I want to wear a nice big white dress somewhere. Now I don't want to wear a big white dress. I'm more like a minimalist. I, wear, I, um, I just wanted there to be more. Um, again, I'm losing track. But yeah, like I am viewed as like there's something wrong. Like women who aren't or used to women who weren't married or had kids were looked at, they were called spinsters, um, which I think is a pretty cool word. It sounds like I'm a DJ, I'm a spinster, or I'm, I'm a spinster, so I knit hats and I sell them like a witch at the flea market, I don't I don't know. I wouldn't mind knowing how to do spells and just like, fun. I learned that being playing nice all the time is not working. <laughs> There's a study that women, single women with no kids are the happiest people out there. And I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know if it's an actual like legit study, but if it is, I, I have no problem believing that. We have to be like this feminine, delicate, pure, like the vir like a virgin, you know, and women who are pure and blah, blah, blah. And you can't make a, hoe, a housewife out of a hoe. Um, things like that are so fucking silly. So it's not, um, God, I, I keep losing, I keep losing my place. You are not seen as successful if you don't have this American dream. I had a conversation with someone recently. He was, he pretty much like, we're talking, he has a girlfriend and we were talking about like how they're doing. And he's like, I'm like, well, you want to like get married, have kids. He's like, oh yeah, that's the next thing on the list. Get married, have kids. It's literally a checklist that this social construct has given you to follow so they will benefit off of your life, like the mortgage that you're paying, off of the car loan that you're paying, you know? they're So I don't know how we're going to like 
break the wall of the patriarchy um, but something has to be done about it and I think we as we're getting closer to it um, they are trying to fight us with Wade V. Rowe you know they're they're trying to use that they're trying to ban abortion so warm women are forced to have kids and continue this patriarchal capitalism society it's fucking insane um so at least we're moving somewhere and they are fighting back, but we just have to fight back harder. Like feminism is, some people don't view it how it is. Some people feel really uncomfortable talking about it. Some women even say they're not feminist. Um, but I think being a feminist is just fully being in equality. Um, it's, you know, we, we do, we do need feminism because we have been oppressed for so long that we have to fight to not be oppressed. We have to fight to to have them not ban abortion. Feminism is not a movement against men. It's just a movement to protect women. Because we weren't able to vote until recently. We weren't able to hold our own bank accounts until recently. So now that we can, have our own bank accounts and our own jobs and our own mortgages, we can finally be like, women don't need men to have a house or their own bank account anymore, you know? So now they're choosing not to have kids. So now that's where the whole abortion thing's like, okay, like, um, so I don't know what changed recently that I realized a lot of new things, maybe just my age, um, maybe just watching more YouTube, honestly. I used to, put a lot of blame on myself or on people in general, like just individuals in general. But I realized that we are all, like there's, I am one side of the coin and the other side of the coin is the society I live in. Men, like this, this guy who has a podcast um, about, I don't know what it's about, but he like pretty much just hates on women the whole time. Uh, about oh about being alpha male like he hasn't he hasn't he hasn't realized his oppression in society um yeah it's pretty 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 sad it's 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 fucked up that like people watch these videos it's fucked up that men still don't think women should have rights to their own bodies like sh there's so many examples and there's so many little things there's so many comments that like i've seen witness throughout my whole life like been a victim of that I like countless examples of misogyny that I you know just, just just in my head somewhere but right now it's not it's not I can't think of any it's kind of like I guess that's just my brain that's how it works sometimes if you call me out to remember something at that exact moment I can't remember it uh, maybe I'll remember it later yeah um so yeah like this video is not very organized. Again, I am freestyling it. I am reading past notes that I made, um, so they're not. It's not. It's not organized. I, I'm not even reading the notes in order. Uh, I want. I'm talking about patriarchy because it is true. Like a lot of people, I wasn't aware that it was happening. Um, so the more that people are aware, the more that you can call call it out when you see it. I'm not saying we're close to beating it, but I should have said this a lot earlier, but patriarchy is an ideology. It seeks to make sense of reality when it's not reality. Um, again, Harari tried to explain that he really just goes hard on religion. Like he's just like, Fuck your, and your religion believes. It's just an idea. People, the church doesn't exist on, on a solid fact. Um, the church, I, I grew up Catholic, okay? I grew up Catholic. So for me to say I'm not being like, oh, I'm against religion because being Catholic, like I am still working through what was put into my head as a child. So I am not against religion, but it is true. It is not an actual like fact. Yeah, it's a belief that the church, like the Pope, the church, whoever's in charge, takes it to lead people. They, they use it to lead people. So the patriarchy is also an idea. It is a social construct. It's nothing physical. They use this ideology, they use this belief 
to control people. The men, the men sit on top of the household and then the woman and the kids and then the pets and so on, so on, so on. It's a belief that you have to live your life like this. Um, but it's not, you don't have to. You, you don't have to have kids. You don't have to have this picket wife and stream. The patriarchy uses shame on women. Like, but all I, all I want to do is just sw live by the ocean, swim every day, tan, eat fruit, listen to music, do acid every now and then. Like that's happiness for me. But the society tells you happiness is being in a relationship um, getting married and having kids to be the most successful woman. Like, you know, like for example, Jennifer Aniston, Jennifer Aniston gets, has gotten harassed so many times about why she's not married, why she doesn't have kids. Um, and like shaming us to like be pure and be like the wife material, you know, like if we're not wife material, like shame, like they shame us for it. That That's a form of control. That's a form of control that the capitalism um, whole network is has is yeah to like shame women who enjoy sex like shame women who who like to have multiple partners um, people should be able to do what they want as long as it's not harming other people are getting closer to the end of this video um, or of my rant whatever you want to call it you're free to call it what you want to call it call I don't have any quick solutions um, to fix this patriarchy um, bullshit society that we live in as long as we're if informed um, at least you're informed now if you didn't realize this before um, so I, hopefully I reached someone who wasn't aware of this before and is aware of it now. Um, so they can, if they see it happening out there in life, they can call it out. I also think like if women speak out or if like, you know, we want to say something or stand up for ourselves, we are seemed as angry. Even coming here and like talking to you as a single woman, as a single brown woman, sitting here and talking about the patriarchy and how like exp expressing my anger and emotions about the patriarchy. Um, you know, some are like, this is just an angry single woman, but I, you know, like I think, so what if I'm angry? I think if any woman shows any kind of emotion, they are labeled as needy. They are like, they're just demanding what they want, but they are labeled as needy. If a woman is angry, like Taylor Swift songs, mad woman, she says a quote, um, you know, like what does a scorpion do when fighting back? What do you expect? You know, like I will fight back. Um, and when a woman fights back, she's a bitch, she's just like snake, whatever you guys call, want to call, you know, they get insulted when a woman speaks up or fights back. And especially me as a brown woman, I'm going to be seen as a loud, Latin, angry woman. But as I like to point out, um, anger is a secondary emotion. It is a reaction to hide our first emotion, which my first emotion is being oppressed being, um, you know, being in situations where I was belittled, where I was treated not fairly because of my, because I'm a brown woman. Um, so if anger is what it takes for me to like sit here and sit down and talk to you about this topic, then fuck it, then I'm angry then, right? Um, it's learning a lot about like just people in general, like sociology. Um, I always made fun of people who, I didn't make fun, but you know, like people who 
major in sociology. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you going to do with that? Actually, sociology is um, has become very handy for me to learn and being informed with the social construct we are living in because we are not individuals. The soul should always stand ajar. Like the door to the soul should always stand ajar or something like this. Um, and it's true. I think you should not only learn about like spirituality and religion and stuff like that, but you should always, people who are like, oh, I'm not into politics. Um, well, you sh probably should be because we live, <laughs> We live according to politics, um, sadly. Um, so it's, I like to know, I have learned a lot. I've realized a lot from knowing where I stand now. Um, so me keeping my mind open and my soul open to many other realities or many other responsibilities. I will be talking about psychedelics in the next video or two. So if you are interested in psychedelics, then go ahead and subscribe <laughs> and then you will um, then you will watch my psychedelics videos, um, LSD mostly. Um, so yeah, so, so, you know, just being aware, being informed, keeping yourself informed of what's happening. When you see something happening, when you see a person being hurt by the patriarchy, you know, or capitalism, just point it out, stand up for them, stand up for women, stand up for even men, stand up for men, you know, because they are also oppressed by this social construct. Um, okay, I am, I am also not against marriage, okay? I am not against marriage if you, if, you know, like, I wouldn't, I would get married to the right person, um, it's kind of weird that I would want to legally tie myself to someone. Um, but I mean, having like a nice party to confess our love to the world is, is kind of cute. I'm not, I'm not against marriage. I'm not against love. Like I love love. Um, but I am against the propaganda shoved in people's faces that you need this American dream, this like, nuclear family household to be considered to be successful um but that's just capitalism right there they just want you to buy those diapers and buy those plastic containers and get that minivan and you know buy more baby clothes and buy more stuff for your kids and your carbon footprint just grows and grows and then you're contaminating the world and yeah there's so many reasons why i wouldn't have kids but um it just sucks that like wanting kids was like shoved in my face. Like you should want kids. And then it took me like five years to realize, like it took me 10, it took me a while to realize like maybe I don't want kids in general. Like I still, I'm still am unsure. Um, but I have Gohan at midnight and I should probably go to bed soon because I have to go to work tomorrow. Um, Please subscribe to my channel. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, if you made it this far, you must like something. So, oh yeah. Um, so yeah. So please like and subscribe. Um. Again, thank you. Thank you for watching.